Let's convert this static social media list into an actionable one. So when you click on a social icon, a link is revealed which you can click to visit. In our previous episode, which you can find in the link above or in the description below, we've created the landing page Pug and SCSS and we've also included Voswans into index Pug and into style SCSS. So in our landing page Pug, we've looked through this social list collection and we've created a bunch of list items with labels that we can see over here. Our agenda looks like this. We want to create an input box radio and we also want to learn how to group input type radio and create label attributes and link them with those input radios and create a reset button for this radio group. Just before we start, let's quickly add our changes to GitHub as we forgot to do this last time. So, uh, start landing page, save unsaved landing page files. Okay, so we've committed this. Now let's get back to our files. In the landing page bug, let's create under this unordered list another div named landing. page box body and inside this one let's loop again through that social list so each social in social list let's create an input with the class of landing page box audio and the type of it would be radio. Let's create under it a div with the class of landing page box message. And in it, let's create an anchor tag with the class of landing page box link and this would have an href with the value of social url and we'll also add another attribute target equals underscore blank so each time we click on this link it will open the associated link in a new page Bam, bam, bam. Let's also fill this one in with the content of social URL. Okay, let's see what happens so far. So I've created a bunch of radio buttons. Come on, go back. Uh, so as far as you can see, when we select them, all of them are selected. So we want to only have one selected, right? So in order to do this, let's mark this as done. We need to group the input type radios. To do that, we'll only need to add a name to all of them. So if all of them share the same name, they'll be in the same group. Awesome radio. So now once we click on one and click on another one, it will deselect the previous one. Okay, so uh, let's also create a reset button because once we've selected those radio buttons, you cannot unselect it. So we'll do a, a, a quick trick over here and we'll create another input type radio that sits in another place and we'll activate it later. So let's do an input with class landing 
page box radio type radio name awesome radio and it has an attribute of checked so by default this one is checked this is the input that we've just created and also let's add an ID to it and the deal the default message radio okay let's mark this as done and we want to link the labels with the inputs so right now if we click on this list over here nothing happens so let's create here an a value for this for attribute of the of the label so we'll name it message box id and value of it we'll also add here a key and this key would be It will first be 0, then it will be 1, then it will be 2, and so on, until the loop through the social list is done. So let's do key. And the same we want to do for this input over here. And we'll do id equals message box id. So right now, if we click on both ones, nothing happens because it doesn't have a key in here we forgot to say comma key okay so now it should work so once we click on those ones it activates those radio buttons radio input inputs looks like this input radio is not in the same group as those ones so it means we've made a typo. So now they are in the same group because once another one is selected, this one is deselected. So let's also create a label for this one because those ones are targeting the other inputs, but this one is not targeted but by any label. Let's do a div with the class of landing page box message and underneath it a landing page box header over here we'll do click the above icons to reveal and this would be the message when no of none of the social icons is selected let's create another div inside the box header landing page box info click to visit so this will be shown once a social media icon has been clicked and let's do a label landing page box close and inside it let's put times and also let's do id equals this id over here okay So if we click on this X here, it doesn't work, which means we have a typo. Or oh, we did a mistake, right? This must be a 4. So this 4 and this ID need to pair up. The same goes for this 4 and those IDs over here. They are pairing up based on the fact that they have the same value. So this X activates it and again does it again 
let's not forget this time to commit our changes. So let's add both changes and say finish landing page structure. Commit. And that's it. We've just finished to create the structure of our landing page. In our next lesson, we'll get to style it so we can move to the next section. If you're new over here, this video is a part of a series where you can discover how to build your online resume. I'm Marian and this is Kotap, where you'll master how to build websites and get paid well. Thanks for watching and as always, happy coding and create something awesome.